Hello Libras with a general reading for the sign of Libra. So this could resonate with anyone who has Libra strongly in their chart. Um, this is a general reading. It will not fit for everyone, um, but hopefully it'll um, make sense for a few of you. Even in all of that, um, I'm, I'm hoping that there's something here that you can take forward in your travels, in your travels ahead, Libra. All right, let me go ahead and get this um, reading down on the table, and then we'll move forward from there. For those of you who do not like the shuffling, please move forward in the video to where the reading begins. There's usually someone in the comment section who will timestamp the, the recording, and I don't mind if you do that. I understand that some people um, prefer just to see the reading. I understand that. All right, let's go ahead, Libra, and see what's ahead for you. What's happening now for this group of Libras? What's happening now for this group of Libras? What's happening now, please? What's happening now? Empress energy. That is a very Libra type energy, Empress energy. Um, Empress energy here for current energy with the higher font. Oh my gosh. One more energy for, for Libra, for current energy, please. One more energy for Libra. One more energy for Libra. One more energy for Libra, please. Wow, these cards are alive. Wow, an eight of wands. Oh my gosh. Powerful movement currently. You're in some very powerful movement, Libra. Um, very beautiful. Guidance for the incoming energies. Guidance for the incoming. The sun. Oh my gosh. The sun is here for Libra for incoming guidance. Guidance. King of Swords. All right, so we have the Empress. For current energy, we have the Empress, the Empress, the Hierophant, and the Eight of Wands. And we also have the Sun with the King of Swords for guidance. Let's pull one more energy for guidance, please. One more energy for guidance. I mean, okay, just one more energy for guidance. The devil in reverse. Wow. <coughs> energy change. Okay, let's look at what's happening next. In the next seven to 10 days, Libra, let's look what's coming here for you. Knowing now that we're all moving at different speeds, right? So even though I say seven to 10 days, it could be over the next two week period. It could be over the next month. It just depends on um, as this wave of energy comes towards you or as you come towards the next energy, the next future, it, it kind of depends if you're rushing to it, if you're standing back and moving more slowly into it, however you're moving, um, it, it kind of depends. But we do have the Eight of Wands. So I, I don't think, um, I just did a reading for, for another sign, and I already can't remember, because when I do these readings, it's like I'm just letting the words come. Um, who is it? Let me, oh, I here I can check. It was Leo. I, I can't remember what reading I was doing, but... Um, their reading, I don't, I can't remember what reading it was, but, but there was a time frame of like seven to 10 days to three months in that reading. I think for you, Libra, this is, this is incoming, like you're in action now. So, um, again, the time period could be more immediate than the other reading that I was in earlier this morning. I can't remember which one it was. All right, Libra, let's see what's happening next for you. What's happening next for Libra? What's happening next for Libra? What's happening next? What's happening next for Libra? happening next for Libra, please? What's happening next? What's happening next for Libra? I'm going to do reversals in this reading. I usually don't do reversals, but I just feel like um, it's good. It's, I don't know. I just feel like I can in this reading. I usually prefer not. I can feel the energies already. I prefer not to do re reversals, and I will not do them unless I'm I'm called to do them, unless I feel like I should, because um, I can already feel the energy, and it's I'm the reader, right? So I can decide how I'm going to read the cards. But but in this case, I have two reversals here, and I feel okay with that. I feel okay with that. <sighs> These two cards came in sideways, so, you know. Take that as you will. Okay, give me a moment here, Libra. Now, um, just a reminder, this is a general reading. It's not a personal reading, so please, if it doesn't feel like you're reading, then it's not for you this time. Um, it's There's a very strong energies here, Libra, so if you feel my tone is strong, it's only because the energies are strong here. 
Um, you have the Eight of Wands next to the Sun over the top of the Devil or underneath the Devil energy. And the Devil energy is reversed with the King of Swords. So there's a lot of strong energies here. So if my tone is strong, it's only because that's the energy that I'm in. Um, again, um, this is a general reading. Time is fluid. Let's move forward. The current energy is the Empress with the Hierophant and the Eight of Wands. So there's something here um, in this Libra energy is very balanced right now. You're in your strength right now. Okay. You could be coming into a new contract. You be, could be coming into a new relationship. Um, you are moving forward in a very strong way, in a way that will somehow fit into societal standards or into the traditions around society, around your community, around the religion or the belief system that you're in. All right. So you have some type of new energy here. It's a creative energy, but it's very balanced and you're moving forward into some type of contract or some type of new re relationship or a new, um, my ears just plugged right then. I need to clarify. There's something happening here. And right then, as I said, contract, my ear closed, my right ear closed. And that tells me something like there's pressure there. The energy is changing here. You're, you're moving. Yeah. See, I'm telling you, um, okay. So the energy cleared. So there has been some type of pressure. There has been some type of conflict here in a marriage, in a relationship, in a religion, in a community, um, that you're moving through now you're overcoming this. Okay. Um, if the five of swords with the five of wands, I mean, I can't make this stuff up. I mean, I can't make this stuff up. Libra. So there has been a conflict or you're in a conflict that has been sort of unnecessary from your point of view, Libra. It's been sort of unnecessary. It's, you're not even sure why this conflict is here, but it's here. It's because of other people. It's because of egos. It's because of pride. It's because of fear. There's all kinds of ways and reasons why it's here, but it feels like it's, it's not necessary. It's it, there's an anger. There is anger and frustration at this blockage or at this conflict. It is not necessary. It is not a part of humanity's growth. It is not a re it, it, so that's the energy that's around this five of swords and the five of wands. And it could have been going on for some time, but it almost in a way has to happen Libra because fives are the energy of change. And sometimes it, it really all the time we have to go through this five energy. It's the energy of change and it's uncomfortable. It's, it feels unsavory. It feels unnecessary. It feels, uh, it's just kind of a yuck feeling. It's a yuck feeling that I'm getting here with the five of swords and the five of wands. Tell us more, please judgment. So now you're reaching the end of this. The consequences are coming in. The, the decision has been made. New movement forward. Victory over this. Somebody has been judged. Somebody has been tried. There's been a jury who has come to some type of a decision. Whoever the jury is, it could be you, it could be the judge, whoever the jury is, there has been some type of decision made or some type of thing some some decision has been made, whether it's been made by the community, whether it's be, been made by you, something has happened here that has that has overruled, overruled or has been a victor in this conflict. Judgment energy with the fives. So whatever this five element was, this element of change, the contrast in life, there has been an ending now. Somebody or something ended this. Okay. And we have the higher font here now, which is a new contract, new stabil stabilization, new movement forward, a refreshing energy, a refreshing energy. So again, many of you are entering into a new relationship or a new contract, a new business. Um, the higher fund energy is also a whole, it's a, it's a large group of people all moving in the same direction with the same goal in mind, a like-minded group of people. Um, it, it's a group people of faith, a, a people from a certain company, a special company or a university where everybody has the same goal in mind. And there's a lot of people, but those people are led by a small group of people, right? That's the energy I feel for the Hierophant lots of times. So you could be getting a new contract with a company. You could be getting a new contract with a new client. There's something here and it's, and it's creative energy. The Empress energy is a very creative, very maternal, um, uh, a very feminine energy. It can be held by a man or a woman, right? But it's a very feminine energy of balance. This is someone who knows how to love him or herself, knows how to, 
knows how to make decisions, um, keeping the value of self in the forefront, but also um, knowing the the beauty and the and the and that the beauty and the health of the community is as as important, you know. So so this is someone who loves oneself, but also loves um, the people around him or her. This is someone who takes practice. the mind. I can feel that I haven't gotten it all. Please tell us about the higher font. Why is the higher font here? protection, self-protection, self-advocacy, self-representation. There is some sort of contract or negotiation or something here. Four of cups. You've, you've reached, you know, you've had a bunch of different offers, right? Look at all the cups here. You've had a bunch of different options. They haven't really panned out for you, but there's now a new option that you're working on. Look how balanced you are here. You're balanced. You're passionate. And you're in a very steady place with this, okay? You've worked hard on this. You've worked hard to connect in with this option. You've worked hard to connect in with this. And this could even be a marriage. This could be an engagement. But but likely for, for most of you, this is something that you're doing in the real world. Um, whether this is a new occupation, a new job, a new cause that you're working on, a, a, new, a, a new client, um, um, some kind of new... Um, action that you're taking, but it, it comes from the initiation from deep within. So it's something that you feel very passionate about, something that's a part of you, something that is a part of your essence of who you are. Okay, so it's a deep, deep action. It's a deep, deep dream that's been realized here for Libra, a deep dream that's been realized. And it has taken you a while here to express this, to build this, to, to be your own advocate in this. So it's taken you some time here to find this for yourself. And now you're taking action. Eight of Wands. Lots of options, lots of actions, lots of doorways to be opened, lots of things to be done, lots of communication going back and forth, um, internet communication, um, travel, um, lots of activities, uh, very, very positive kind of energy. All right. So you're busy right now. You're busy. All right, so, so let's look at what happens next in this situation. The guidance is you have the sun with the king of swords with the devil in reverse. So you have really overcome this old way of thinking for yourselves. All right, you've really overcome that devil energy, that temptation energy, that addiction energy, that toxic energy, um, allowing other people to influence you in a way that's damaging for self. Um, allowing other people to step inside your sanctuary space and, and pour their vomit into your space. I mean, I know that sounds disgusting, but that's the energy of this of devil in reverse next to the king of swords. Like the king of swords doesn't mince words. King of swords can be quite direct. And there have been people vomiting in your sanctuary. I mean, that's the kind of energy that I see because it's next to the sun. Like the words that the King of Swords says are powerful, they're blunt, and they're victorious. And they are ready to move forward in a completely different way. All right, so you have um, moved out of a place of weakness, moved out of a place of addiction, or moved out of a place of, 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 of another person being in your life who really messed with the way that you thought, really messed with your mind. It, this person could have really brought in confusion and really made you question what real life was for you. This person could have made you question who you were as a person, what your truth was, right? This, this person could have felt an emptiness within them 
and could have projected that of emptiness onto you. And so therefore you became empty as a person, or you felt you were empty, or you questioned who you were. This has been overcome. This has been overcome. All right. Now, if this is a, in any way, this is a, this is a under, this is an energy that permeates this whole, you know, this whole reading, but this could be in finding new freedom in a career, finding new freedom in your occupation or what you do for, for your hobby or your cause or whatever this is. It doesn't have to be um, about actually a person, but for many of you, this is um, being in a relationship, whether it's at a workplace or whether it's within a home that has caused you to um, really be in a deep, deep, dark place. All right. Whether it was drugs or whether it was another person or whether it was just um, a, a lack of moderation or whatever it was, it, it kept you in a place that was really unhealthy for you. And you've seen the big picture now. You've made very important decisions, right? You've made very important decisions or you are making important decisions and you will continue to make important decisions about your future. And your future is powerful, it's abundant, it's glorious, it's healing, it's beautiful. It's your dreams coming true. And to get to the sun, you had to come through the devil. To get to the sun, you had to walk through the devil energy. That's how many of us do it, my friends. It's really and truly how many of us get to the sun. We walk through the devil to get to the sun. There's more to come out for the sun. Judgment. Complete change. Complete change. Complete change. Let's look at the future here. What's happening in the future? We have the five of cups in reverse. So we have a disconnection with the past now. So whatever this devil energy is, yes, it's sad. Yes, it still pulls at you. Yes, it's still um, the memory of it or, or just being in the energy of it could cause you to have some kind of emotions that just come over you and you don't even know why they're there. All of a sudden you might feel really sad or you might just feel really empty inside or you could have these um, emotions that kind of swim over you and you don't really know why they're there. Or you could have a pulling of, um, of wanting to go back into some old behavior or to think in a certain way. You could, you could be really working on changing your language because the words we say can manifest. I know for myself, I manifest a lot by saying the words. You know, I manifest a lot by saying words. And so I, I think for many of you, it has to do with um, really, truly getting into the behavior of manifesting in a different way, um, intentionally changing the words you say, intentionally changing the thoughts. So if you start to think negatively about yourself, or if you start to think about a person who influenced your life, you're realizing that when we think of someone, it creates a thread of energy that goes from our heart to the other person. And when we think of them, we create that thread of energy and energy can move back and forth. And so we now are we taking, um, being very careful with where our thoughts go because our thoughts create threads of energy. And so when we think about someone, they don't even have to be thinking of us. When we think about someone, we can connect in with them and we can pass energy back and forth, right? It's, it's very, it's, it's like you're very much understanding intentionally how to manifest, how to redirect energy, how to redirect your focus. You are next to the King of Wands, all right? So let's go back. We have Libra here as Empress Energy. We have Taurus with the Hierophant. We have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini with the King of Swords. Very Aquarian energy though, Libra. But again, this could be your energy because this is a, Lib a reading for Libra. Um, but a very a kind of Aquarian energy, Libra. You can do it really well. You can do the King of Swords really well, maybe better than anybody. Um, but I see that you're, I think that you're seeing the big picture. You're seeing the big picture of this. Because you're seeing the big picture of what's happening, you're able to more easily step through the devil energy. You've been learning. You've been learning. You've been researching this. You've been figuring this out. Okay. Now you're moving into the king of wands. So you, you know, they're, they're saying, remember the big picture. Remember to be rational. The devil energy can pull you into weird places with your emotions and, the, and your thoughts. Remember to, to focus. They're talking about focusing. So that's the guidance here, focusing, focusing and intentionally um, flipping the energy, moving the energy into a healthy place for you. Um, because the devil energy here, even though these energies are in reverse, um, the, there's a lot of connection here. 
you can easily connect back into these. It's going to take some time, Libra. It takes all of us time. We don't just get out of the devil energy quickly. We don't. For most of us, it is... Sorry, my stomach rumbles. Um, for most of us, it is a it is a period of time that we move out of the devil energy, to be honest with you. I have never moved out of the devil energy quickly. That's me anyway. You might be different, but we both are air signs. So, you know... Again, though, you have power in the future. So much power. There's so much passion here. You have the King of Wands next to the Chariot, next to the Knight of Wands with the Queen of Swords. I'm telling you, Libra, this next period of time, whether it's 10 days or whether it's a month, is going to be powerful movement. Um, you're creating a new life with the King of Wands. You're stepping out. Remember, the Queen of Wands is all about self-beauty, self-awareness. Um, knowing one's superpowers and knowing one's weaknesses. It's more about weaknesses, right? Knowing what your weaknesses are and learning to manage them. That's how the Queen of Wands becomes successful. She manages her weaknesses. She knows her superpowers. She lives in her own beauty. She is the essence of herself. She's super attractive, right? Because she is powerful and she's beautiful and she knows who she is. Powerful, divinely guided, very intuitive. The King of Wands is about taking action in the world. The King of Wands knows his strength. He knows who he is. He has brought himself up from nothing, from nothing. He had nothing at one point, and he built himself into a powerful energy, right? Whether this is a man or a woman, right? This person is taking action now in their environment outside of them. They're creating a new life. They're starting something new. They might be starting a new business. They could be going into a situation where there's nothing and building within that situation. They could be inventing a new product. Whatever they, they are doing, this is you, Libra, moving forward passionately. Um, this could be performances that you're doing. You could be performing something. You could be presenting something. You could be building something. You could be in a play or, or you could be an actor in some kind of per performance, but you're using that energy from within you, from the heart center and from the abdomen to propel you forward. So when you speak, you are not speaking from the mind. You are, some of you are, but the passion and the power is coming from the heart. This, these are speeches that move the audience, right? This is speeches that change the world. Whether this is a product you're creating or a performance that you're giving or a speech that you're saying out in the world, you are moving the audience. You are moving the world and you're working to create something new, to revolutionize something in a major way with the King of Wands. I'm saying that because there is fire here, Libra. There's a fire all through this reading. It's powerful. And I usually don't get this for Libra, but it's powerful. And now you have the chariot. I mean, and, and it's next, and it's with the Knight of, I'm just, with the Knight of Wands energy, I mean, I just, it's so much power. I, I'm going to have to, I have to ground myself just a little bit. Okay, so you're moving forward, and you're doing, and you're creating something new in your life. You're doing this yourself, because you've learned how to do it, and you're moving mountains with this energy. You're moving forward in a very strong pace, very balanced. That's why you have the Empress. You're not losing that Empress quality. You're not losing it. It's something very creative that you're doing. You have something very profound that you're working on. You're protecting something. You're building something. You're connected to Earth. You're connected to energy. You're connected to the universe. You're connected to Gaia. Like this is, again, this is something much deeper. It comes from the soul. It comes from the DNA. It comes from the roots of who you are right? It is who you are. And that who you are is driving what you're doing. That is the King of Wands next to the chariot, next to the Knight of Wands. I mean, it's, this is revolution. I, I have, this is revolution. I know it's an old fashioned word. I know it's in the history books, but people we're needing it. We're needing it again today. And I see it here in Libra. I see it in Libra. We need it today. We need to revolutionize. We need to understand the strength of the individual, not the strength of a government, not the strength of the rich, but the strength of the individual, the silent majority. Okay, these kind of energies are in this. These kind of energies are here. Power, powerful energy. Just think what the world would be, my friends, if all of us, if all of us were in this energy. Where could we go? 
and we had the Hierophant with us. Oh, my head's cold. We had the Hierophant here. We had faith and trust. We had like-mindedness. We had a general populace who knew that we all look for freedom, that we all look for stability in our lives. All of us do. Every human looks for this. It doesn't matter what side of the aisle or what government we're in. We are all one purple. Our blood runs blue. And when it spills, it turns to red. This is the kind of energy. I know I'm being dramatic, Libra. I know I am. But you have to understand this is a powerful energy. And if you're trying to manifest this as a gift from spirit, saying this energy that I'm giving to you is to help you to do this. This is to help you to do this. This is a big year. For this group of Libras, this is a big year. And I think you're just ramping yourself up here. You're ramping yourself up. You're moving forward powerfully into whatever you're doing. The Knight of Wands energy. Now, the Knight of Wands energy is a very fast energy that might not sustain itself for very long. So what I sense is going to happen in the future is you're probably going to move forward in a very powerful way and then maybe regroup a little bit but what we see here is a very powerful movement and while you're in this energy to move powerfully ahead take advantage of that libra take advantage and ride the wave right ride this wave this is something that's being given to you to use and you are taking full advantage of it and you have worked together to create this energy just like the surfers in the ocean the surfers who ride the ocean waves Right? I was just watching. Why is that coming into it? Okay. Oh, boy. I'm really caught up in this fire. And I don't want to go too long. What time is it? 26 minutes. Boy, oh, boy. Um, is there a place like in Spain or Portugal where the waves get really high? And in the last, like, five years, it's become a very popular place for the best, most powerful surfers in the world to go there and to surf these waves. And it's deadly, but it's profoundly beautiful. Right? And when you find the, this wave, you can flow on it and you can move fast and you can become successful in this goal of riding this powerful, immense wave that only the few can ride. Right, It is a, an energy that only those who can ride those waves can feel that energy that is their right because of their talent and the work that they put into it. And they're riding that immense wave that the rest of us can just sit back and watch and marvel at the talent of harnessing and flowing with the beauty of Mother Earth and the power of water, right? This is the kind of wave you're on right now. So you've got to just flow with it. Take it, ride it. Do what you can in this energy because it's not going to stay here forever. It's not going to stay here forever. We also have the Queen of Swords. So we have the Queen of Swords with the King of Swords. So number one, this is balance. Number two, you have seen the big picture with the King of Swords. You've made very important decisions for yourself. And this is a guidance to see the big picture, to be balanced. Um, but you will be in, in a very powerful Queen of Swords energy. You're expressing what you need to express. You're defending someone or something. You are fighting for yourself. You might be quite intimidating right now, Libra. Go with it. Go with it. When you get this amazing energy, when you get this big wave where you can fly from around the world to this one place in wherever this is, Portugal or Spain, I can't remember, I'm sorry. Um, and, and you ride this wave, right? And you ride this wave. This is a once in a lifetime kind of an energy. Go with it. I don't care who you intimidate. I don't care who you shock and who is put off by your energy. There is something here that you're doing that is profoundly, insanely important for humanity. Go do this great thing, my friend. Go do this great thing. Go. Go do it. I don't know what to say. Like, there's so much energy here. Okay, Libra, I am moving now to the extended. I'm going to take a few minutes and ground myself. I know this was really dramatic. Please forgive me. I'm going to ground myself, and then I'll move into the extended. We'll look at deeper into some of these energies, but we're going to take this out into the future and see what happens. And after we do the reading in the extended, I'll get the dowsing rods, and we'll look at the timing chart and see where the big points of time are. All right. So moving into the extended now, thank you all for being here. If you want more information, feel free to move into the next reading. Um, if, you, if you're happy with this reading as it is, that makes me happy too. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you, Libra.